Hey guys, Sino here. I do project management and audio design at Mantle Games and I'm going to talk a little bit about our game called Snake. So currently what we have is a classic game of Snake where your goal as a player is to become the biggest snake possible while competing against other players. If you die, you repeat the whole process all over again. While still a lot of fun, we feel like it doesn't really give players a sense of achievement. Our plan is to make multiple time-based maps with a clear winner being announced at the end of each map round. This will not only break the monotony of having to play the same map over and over, but also improve the competitive aspect of the game as it creates a solid core game loop. We're also the only snake game, don't quote me on this, to have a jumping mechanic. Players seem to enjoy it a lot, but we feel like we haven't really used this to its full potential. Moving forwards, we plan to create our new maps with verticality in mind which would promote a parkour style gameplay and hopefully result in some interesting plays. Lastly, we also plan to add a new game mode for Snake called Snake Race which is inspired by Mario Kart. Players slithering away on a long winding path full of obstacles trying to outplay and outpace each other while making use of the power-ups in order to win the race. What's not to love about that? Hey, I'm Sam and I'm the environment artist or asset maker over at Mantle. My job is to make sure that the game looks absolutely stunning, detailed, but yet very performant. So for the next three months, me and my team are going to be grinding out courses over at Minigolf. Uh, people have been asking all over the platform because as it's one of the top games, it's the most one of the most played games. Everyone wants some new courses for like six seven months now so we're gonna be grinding out some new sci-fi maps this is a, just a demonstration this isn't actually what it's gonna look like uh right now it just has the plain old uh, golf courses however we're gonna make this stunning there's gonna be flying spaceships there's there's gonna be rifts in space with spaceships for example it's gonna look something like that not as bad though can't wait to release all the new things that are up and coming because we have a lot planned and I'm very excited to share with all of you at uh, Manticore and everyone in the platform. Because they tend to be physics based, they tend to be very slidey, but we, we wanted some really tight controls. Give it that sort of su super meat boy challenge, but not quite as difficult, hopefully. <laughs> How's it going? I'm Captain Plastic. I'm responsible for operations, code, design and art video too. I'm going to also show you how Mantle Games operates on a day-to-day -day basis. Also some new things we've got coming up. Let's go. At Mantle Games we wanted to create a web presence so we did just that. We created a website. Our website comes with an accessibility menu and a live help desk system for chatting and getting the help that you need. We've also included our own cloud-based system for our projects and all of the tools that we use. One of the coolest things that we've created at Mantle is Steelforge. Steelforge runs Fabricator. Fabricator is a suite of tools that makes it easy for us to build software within a team. The major components of Fabricator are Differential, a code review tool, Diffusion, a repository browser, Manifest is our bug tracker, and Friction, which is our wiki. Manifest is nice because all of the tasks are easy to read, T1 through T2, etc. Every time we create a task, we tag it with our project, and our project is listed, and all of the tasks go into the backlog. We don't have to put them there, they automatically go there. We link this with our Discord. Everything inside of our Discord gets tracked the same way. When a task is created, the members of the team see it. When it updates, the members of the team see it. We no longer have to make tedious design documents. We can do it all within Fabricator. Jenkins is our CI tool. Jenkins allows us to do unit testing and linting automatically. Every time a commit happens, the branch gets scanned and it also gets linted. A report gets generated and people can go in and look and see what has failed and why. This allows us to create better code and also get rid of things that aren't used. Our linter is based off of Stanzilla's Lua Check RC. Thanks to him, we're allowed to check our code and create better scripts.
This is hole one. Okay, so we're gonna do 18 holes. Oh, 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 o